What's going on, y'all? I hope you're all well, and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. So, I checked the last episode, and it looked less choppy, honestly. I think uh, we might have found the solution by matching up the frame rates. Because it looked better. Uh, let me know if y'all think it looked better. I think it looked less choppy on my side, at least, when I was watching it back. I think we'll just have to stay down at 60 for whenever we play Legendary Edition. Maybe it's something to do with the, uh, the full screen mode that it's in, or the capture or something. Hanging around all these dormant machines is creepy. It's like death staring at us from the shadows. Oh, I'd rather work at Vulcan Station. Is that Varric from Dragon Age? That sounded a lot like Varric. Oh, man. It's the boy. I also gotta try and drag my ass to find those last two Cerberus data packets after we finish up here. Lanigan just ran a simulation. If these kids ever wake up, there's a 98% chance we'll be dead within two minutes. I'm starting to hate Lanigan. <laughs> Guess of nine mathematical probabilities. You just know when you're fucked. Too much knowledge to be hopeful. Little slice that blissful ignorance. Like I'm sure everybody knows somebody right who just goes through life like a happy puppy. Like not no world events or any problems seem to just get them down. They just ignorant of everything, just living life like the puppy hanging its head out the window on the highway. <laughs> no plenty of them. I feel like everybody probably knows somebody like that. Geth cosplay in the middle of a fucking Geth ship is one hell of a prank. Look, he didn't get ventilated. I've been here for an hour and it sounds to me like he's saying, please make it stop. <laughs> but perhaps you should have quit the experiment. What's going on here? But I do agree with the VI. We do need to make it stop. Whatever the sick shit is. In the end, you want elevator music. I don't think there's anything we need in here anyways. White, three, blue. Green, orange, space. Or green, purple, space, rather. Orange, four, white. That should be all three. If I remember what we got up to yesterday. Of Station accepted. Yeah, there's all three.
If you want me on your side, and or whatever it is you're trying to tell me. <laughs> I knew this was too easy. Yeah. Blowing my eardrums out with random screeching is not the way Come to on. communicate. Let's move. That the confidentiality agreement fucking buy any of this shit. I'm sure you all know the consequences for breaking a Cerberus confidentiality contract. I don't think you get to keep breathing for very long after that. It's so easy to get turned around in here, dude. Well, it's saved, so I'm assuming this is correct. like this. Why urban warfare is such a disaster in real life, right? So many corners to check, so many angles to deal with. Myself as a shield, but I need to shoot back on it. Destiny 2 shotgun range right there. Let's deal with the top first. 
Don't need to worry about this. Problem on the flame. You bet. So we can't afford to be missing those right now. I don't have enough ammo to be missing shots. I'm fucking drones at me from down there. Forget that I'm over. are fucking scary, dude. That's the ones you gotta look out for. They are hefty. Alright, so I think one I know one of them we're missing. I was thinking about this last night. One of them we're missing is the uh the one I talked about how there was a package somewhere near in near mech. Like in a little ditch somewhere. That's one of them. And I think when I watched the episode back, we never went right from spawn. So I'm assuming number six is going to be on that right side from where we started off. It just might be like an asshole to find where all that stuff was. I'm gonna get myself situated here, find out where I'm at. Geographic conditions indicate an aesthetically pleasing view nearby. Organic life forms may wish to take note. Does this. Once I notice where the star was, this will be way easier. Where do we start? This looks right for where we started. Yeah, that, okay, that's where we came from. So I don't think I ever went right. Yeah, I didn't. So this is one of them. I hate these things. Nice and slow. It's 
Once we have the one death, it won't be so obnoxious. I'm just gonna cheese the shit out of it until at least it's 1v1. In the unfortunate realities of the Papega Hammerhead. This is the Mako, that shit would already be over. Try not to die now that we got the first one though. That'd be unfortunate. I swear it hits you with like one bullet and you start being like dead. It should be five. Another Cerberus data Indeed. has been recovered. One more remains. Alright, now I just gotta find the ditch I was talking about. One of those things where I think I'll know when I see it. It's just being it that might be an issue. I don't know. I think we might have a winner. It is. It's down there. Okay. There's the asshole neck. Because that mech is going to try and give us a smoke. Threat detection. Enemy units nearby. I can't believe I missed this last video. I literally drove past this. You get for recording when you're tired. I love that the turrets are more chunkier than the literal death mech. This mech is like a walk in the park in comparison to some like random shit at Earth. Alright, that's all six. Wunderbar. Another Cerberus data there we go. Alright, we got all six. There is an achievement for that in the uh, vanilla versions of the game. So if you're playing along to the. Uh, series with the vanilla versions, not legendary, and then there you go, you got yourself a data hound achievement. I think the last place is over here, right? Yeah, here it is. I f did we get anything for that? It seems like we should get something. Humans detected IAEA as a freedom's progress as VAT. The Man, I feel like that we should have gotten information for getting those data packets. At least give me something about the uh, the world. Damn. Zero reward. Yeah, I felt like you got like a codex or something for all six. Maybe when you go back to the Normandy, you get like a declassified thing sent to your terminal. Maybe that's what it is. Before it can is what just happened.
No, in the name of humanity, by the way. Cerberus. Actually, the uh, the thing that Gavin Archer said when we first got here about man's reach exceeding his grasp, that is a pretty good uh, slogan for the elusive man, to be honest. There's a whole lot of that. seem like uh, anybody volunteered for anything, Archer. Instead, we're about to get shut down. I have no choice but to plug him in. He didn't say anything about somebody volunteering, because that's what he told us when we first rocked up, right? Arriving at level two. Resetting elevator. Okay, that one resets. Where are the rest of the switches? It's level three. Resetting elevator. Okay, that resets. Level three access means level, level three. three. Resetting elevator. Obnoxious. Resetting elevator. Arriving at level two. This is where my brain melts, and I totally take like six years to do this. Arriving at level five. Arriving at level four. Arriving at level one. Okay. Resetting elevator. Resetting elevator. I'm stupid. Arriving at level two. Yeah, that's the one that's plus three, but I don't know if it's always Arriving plus three. At level one. Arriving oh, no. at level four. Arriving at level seven. Yeah, it is. Okay. I was thinking in my head there for a second that you couldn't just press the same shit again. Come on in. Change my mind. That's a gift. Prime. Don't come on in. Just wait right there. <laughs> this might be very dramatic. I need somebody to knock me on cooldown or not. But everything's fine. It's all under control. Almost signed a check my ass couldn't cash right there. Arriving at level six. Please contact facility support. This elevator is not in service. Please choose another. Smoke detected. Please extinguish all cigarettes. Heal down. That autistic mind. Ah, uh, green wall. Why orange, blue, orange, blue. <laughs> this should come in handy. Decelerator offline. Serious injury may occur. It's a little trippy. I don't know if I'd follow the mystical flowing AI, but access the eye server console. 
Get ready. I wouldn't be surprised if this button summoned a reaper. That is why you can't fuck with the AI and VI when you follow so much tech, Shepard. But it looks like we're gonna see the Cerberus atrocities commit here at least. It's gonna show it to us. very much not a VI. Uh... I want you to order the Geth to take a step forward. How does he do it? David is a mathematical savant. His autistic mind can interpret the Geth language at its most basic form and mimic their fanatics. With his photographic memory, cross-referencing the meaning as a snap He's literally a human computer. And you think he can interface with the Geth's neural network? I do. Is that even safe, Doctor? I see no harm in finding out. <laughs> no harm in... What a sick fuck. Doctor. Square root of 906.01 is 30.1. Square root of 912.04 is 30.2. David, can you repeat my next... He's clearly distressed, experiment? man. Square root of 918.09 is 30.3. David, please pay attention. Loud. It's getting loud in here. I'm sorry, you didn't deserve that. This dude just doesn't give a fuck, does he? Do you mind repeating my notes from Thursday's experiment? Log 137.3. The experiment yielded no discernible patterns of geth obedience. End dictation now, David. Hell, the elusive man will have my head for this. Thank you. And how are you feeling today? Square root of 924.16 is 30.4. Earplugs would be good. The doctor taking advantage of the mentally impaired. Nice. In the name of humanity. Your class act. Like I said in the Assassin's Creed Let's Play, man, there's something extra sick when the bad guy is a doctor. Somebody who takes an oath to help people that you trust implicitly, and even worse, it seems like they have some kind of a personal bond. So he betrayed both. Cerberus is the one running this facility. In the name of humanity, taking advantage of mentally impaired autistic people. 
plugging them into geth networks against their will. Nice. So the next time you catch the brochure of Cerberus, you just go ahead and wipe your ass with it because it's toilet paper. It means nothing. I didn't even what they're about. Warning. Elevator exceeds maximum weight capacity. I imagine that means we got some company. Concern for David at all. I don't shit about himself. He's screeching in pain, begging for it to be made to stop. And he's like, no, tell the, tell the gift to stop holding me at some point. No, oh shit, David, I need to help you. What have I done? It's no. Save my ass. you out of the situation, but I will. Is that what you think fighting for the cause of humanity looks like? Quiet. Please make it stop. Or do you think that's what a complete loss of humanity looks like? Wait! Commander! You have some brass balls showing up here. Don't do anything rash. Kiss my ass. This guy is a sick piece of shit. And he's also a coward because he used the excuse that the elusive man was going to shut down the program to do this to his own flesh and blood. Rash? Like forcing your own brother into an experiment? I know how this must look, but I never intended any harm to come. Look at him. You must believe me. It's not like I planned this. It Dude. was an accident. Seeing David come look at him. with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. That looks harmless. You have a bunch of fucking metal all over him, keeping his eyes open, with tubes shoved down his throat so he can keep breathing. You have bolts and screws in his wrists right there, keeping him connected, like, dude. It seemed harmless. How does that look harmless to you? That's your brother. And even if it wasn't your brother, that is a vulnerable human being. That is a mentally impaired human being. That you jammed into a server for your own fucking gain. This dude is a cockroach. I saw his memory. He begged you not to do this. I was desperate. The elusive man doesn't broker failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. This shit hurts my feelings, dude. Look at him. This shit is so rough. And how many have already died for this project? 
Correct. More selves than will ever forgive me. But I won't apologize for radical ideas. I'm feeling sorry for yourself. Work, I'm not going to forgive you either. A million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons. My conscience will rest easy. Your work isn't going to save anything because your work's done. Look at him. Your brother will never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Jesus Christ. Look at him. Your brother will never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Some semblance of his mind. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. Very well cared for, lab rat. At least he'd still be alive. You are one sick, sick, sick man. So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition. Shit. If he dies, it's unforgivable. <laughs> no, it's unforgivable, Take period. Back. Please. Him dying. Period. Please make it stop. Him the fact that he only thinks this is like a bad thing if he dies is mind blowing. His entire staff is dead. The entire facility is dead. His brother will never be the same again. He's lucky if he retains some semblance of his mind. And he thinks that it's only reprehensible if he dies. I wouldn't leave my enemy here, never mind an innocent human being. I've seen enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! They do that shit again, idiot. You even think about coming after your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Yeah, you understand. You take him away from you. Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David, minus the torture. Joker. Piece contact of shit. the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Yeah, he can kiss my ass too. It's a heavy one for me. That one hurts. He's lucky I didn't blow his head off though. Rogue VI was successfully shut down, but the test subject was taken to a non-Cerberus facility for care. While this is a considerable setback for Cerberus, Dr. Archer's research will be instrumental in devising a safer approach to controlling the Geth. There's no fucks given at all about the whole situation. Yeah, who gives a shit, right? It's all for the it's all for progress. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. I'm sure I have. Dr. Archer's brother from the Elusive Man. Shepard, I understand you've taken Dr. Archer's brother to Grissom Academy. I'm familiar with their work. It should be a good home for him. I don't condone Dr. Archer's actions, but they did provide a breakthrough we've been sorely lacking thus far. We'll likely never find another individual with David's unique talents. Though your decision is understandable, it has set our efforts to understand the Geth back several years. I would set your ability to breathe back infinitely more years if you were in the same room as me currently. <laughs> what a piece of shit. Both of them. They deserve each other. They both make me sick. He didn't give a shit about his brother and the guy heading the, uh, the group that's supposed to be protecting humanity is doing his utmost to destroy it in the process. 
degenerate. Both of them. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. That is it for Project Overlord. So, we will be moving on to... Uh, Lair of the Shadowbroken next, so I'll start that next time. So, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Leave a like and a comment. If you want to support the cause and help improve the channel, please check out the links in the description below. Otherwise, stay tuned, and I'll see you all soon with more Mass Effect 2. Have a good day, guys. Take care of yourselves.